Okay, let's look at, okay, this is going to be assignment 47. I'm going to show you, this is what the problem looks like, but I'm going to do A part, and you're going to do a different one. So I'm going to do A part first. Suppose P and Q give the sizes of two different animal populations, where Q is greater than P. In A through D, that means A part, B part, C part, and D part, say which of the given pair of expressions is larger. Briefly explain your reasoning in terms of the two populations. Here's how I do it. I'm going to look. So I'm going to do A part. So P plus Q and 2P. Don't freak out. Here's how you look at it. P plus Q and 2P. This is just the problem. This is the info they gave you. They said that Q is bigger than P. So I just randomly made up two numbers for Q and P. You could say Q is 100, P is 2. But however you make it up, the P has to be bigger than the, um, the Q has to be bigger than P, okay? So now whenever I start to work it, I'm going to use 6 and 5 in place of all those. So instead of a P, I put a 5. Instead of a Q, I put a 6. So it's P plus Q, which is 11 and 2P. Now notice the 2 and the P are squished together. You have to remember that squished together means multiply. So 2 times 5, because I, I assigned P to be a 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. So say which expression, this expression in green or this expression in green is larger. Okay, so my answer is the larger expression is that one. And I wrote it down. That's it. The larger expression is P plus Q. Or, you know how they said the population. The larger population would be P plus Q. Now we're going to, I picked a little bit harder one for you to do. Sorry. Still the same direction, though. Say, uh, again, I just wrote the directions again. Say which of the given pairs of expressions, so this expression or this expression, is larger. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to think of some number for P and some number for Q. You can do what I did, 6 and 5 if you want to. It doesn't matter. But do whatever you want to do. Now, whenever you work it, this one, this side is going to be easy. You're going to put whatever, whatever number you decide P is going to be, take away Q, take away P. After you get that answer, you're going to divide it by 2. That's the easy side. This side is a little bit easier because you have to think of PEMDAS, order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplying and dividing, and adding and subtracting is last. So multiplying and dividing comes first. Adding and subtracting comes last. So you need to do that part first, P minus 2. So whatever your P is, put it right there and divide it by 2. After you do that, because it's PEMDAS, division comes before adding and subtracting. So now, after you get that answer, now you're going to say Q minus whatever that answer was. So that side's going to be a little bit harder than the other side. After you get done, remember the directions say which of these expressions were larger. So you're going to say the larger expression was. And your answer is either going to say that one or that one. Let's see who can do it. Assignment 47. Bye, y'all. I hope you're doing okay. Remember, if you want to take a picture of your pet, and your parent says you can, you can. Or if you want to take a picture of yourself and just be like, hi. Or take a picture of your family or something. It has to be an appropriate picture. I'm not going to list all the things that can be inappropriate. So if you don't think you can know what I'm talking about, I don't need to see anything inappropriate in the back. I don't need You need to be dressed perfectly. Nothing inappropriate. So you can't do that. You don't have permission from your parents. Don't send it. But if you want to send a picture of just you or your, you and your parent or your pet. Okay. All right. Bye, y'all.